In this video, I'd like to introduce the PBO Templates Manager software, a utility free for all of our customers to download all of their purchases from the PhotoboothTemplates.com website. When you start Templates Manager for the first time, you'll be asked to log in. Please provide the email that you have purchased your templates with and a recent order number that can be found at my account at photoboottemplates.com or in any of the emails you have received when placing an order. Once you've entered this, click Sign In. Once you've signed in, you'll be see the syncing begin. You can tell this by watching the pulsing red at the lower left, and you'll also see the gray default images until the actual images are downloaded from our website. As they do, you'll see them transition in on the grid as the few that just downloaded have. Coming in now. I'm going to show you a couple other things while these are still syncing. Under settings, you can specify whether you use Photoshop or Photoshop Elements. This will tell the application which uh, PSD files to open for you, as they are slightly different depending on which of the two applications you have. You can also specify a client customizations location. What a client customization is, is a copy of a master, which is a purchase template, that you do the customizations for a specific event. This is the location where they're kept, we like to keep ours or recommend keeping them in a Dropbox folder. This allows you to sync them across anywhere in the world and you can always get to your files if you need to. We have some default settings here for Photo Booth and Darkroom. These are both supported as installations inside of the Templates Manager. If you make a customer, of, when you make a customer customization, you can then tell it to install and it will uh, use these directories to uh, place all the files necessary for that software. So if you have a atypical installation you'll want to update these you can do so by clicking the folder or typing it in but these are the default locations where these do exist. I'd like to walk through now making a customization for a client as we recommend using the templates manager software. For this event, we're going to use Casino Night Photo Strips. By clicking on it, it brings up a details pane on the right side. Here I can click README. This will open up the README file, which contains all of the links to the fonts that are used within the design that I need to download for use in Photoshop. I'm going to go past that and just click the Customize button. This is going to create a duplication of the template that I can make event-specific edits in and not worry about destroying the original. I'm going to use the default name as it is. We do recommend using a date stamp in front. It helps to organize things and keep things in a uh, chronological order for you. It makes them even easier to find. So I'll click create here and once we have created the design I'm immediately prompted with uh, the ability to close here. I can go on about my business or I can open it right now in Photoshop. If you have Photoshop Elements listed as your preference, then this would say open in Photoshop Elements. Clicking that will immediately open the exact PSD that was created and I can make all of my customizations here. If I want to do a quick uh, background color, so let's make this brown so we can see the changes quickly. And then I'm going to go ahead and save that background real quick. One thing you'll notice is I am actually right inside the folder. I don't have to go hunting around. I'm immediately able to save to where I was. So I'll just go ahead and hit save. And now I have some modifications in there. Um, you can save your PSD and uh, close your file. Then come back here. We'll hit close. Now I can come to customizations under customized and every one of them that I have I can uh, delete here. I can export out to a zip file that I can use later 
Um, some softwares allow you to import that, such as DSLR Booth Pro. If you're using Photo Booth or Darkroom Booth and your templates are purchased for those, then you can um, create the customizations and you'll actually get the ability to install. Um, I know this set here is a photo booth, so I'll show you that quickly. If I click here, when I click install, I'm able to have it go ahead and install directly into photo booth for me or darkroom booth and it'll just be there for you to use. That's the basics of the photo booth template uh, manager. It works great with our template club members where they can use the embeddable catalog in their website. Client makes a selection, download the exact template they want, quickly make the modifications here and install it into the photo booth software they are using. Thank you for watching. Hope you find this tool useful and it helps you in your day-to-day -day business.